If the popularity of a rally is measured by the number of competitors taking part, then the penultimate round of the 2011 Kenya National Rally Championship was the firm favorite. It was the KCB Guru Nanak Rally, one of the oldest events in Kenya's rallying history. We get 10, 12 people from the Sikh community who don't do any rallying throughout the year, but then they come for this rally because it's a patriotic thing. And you know, this is the religious period. We have uh, the birth date of Guru Nanak about this time. It's on the, the rally stages were run on the outskirts of Nairobi, crossing the vast Afi plains, where the cars could be pushed to the limit, with the organizers fortunate to have found a window in between the heavy rains. It's a double portion, easy left. It was wet uh, when I did my last route survey, very nicely wet. But uh, today it's all sunny and it's been sunny yesterday, so the dust, we were hoping to run this rally on two minutes, but now we have to run it at three minutes. As the cars arrived for the pre-event check at the host Sikh Union Clubhouse, the favorite for victory was Carl Tundo, who was going for a hat-trick win. His immediate competition was Ian Duncan, whose focus was more on winning the championship. Azar Anwar in his Evo 8, always a dark horse. Alex Horsey in the Mitsubishi Evo 10. And Baldev Chaga, the leading club member for which a win would be extra special. With Alistair Kavner out of the championship race, he was trying out the Ford Escort, in which he will be competing in the East African Safari Classic. On the Classic, he will be navigated by Carl Tundo, who joined him in the cockpit, trying it out for size. I mean, can you reach the trips? 58 cars passed through the safety check, but would only come under rally orders at the start the following day. The start was from the KCB Leadership Center, the bank's training facility, and the backbone of the professionalism that customers ultimately benefit from. As the clock counted down, the cars arrived in groups, finding space in the park for May set between the catering and accommodation blocks. But first on the agenda was a final briefing from the clerk of the course. So the now please understand that the time bar in this rally is 30 minutes. If you are late between any two time controls, later than 30 minutes you are time barred. A brief shower added to the growing tension, but stopped on cue for the chief guest to give his keynote speech. The rally sport is a, is a spectacle which gives a lot of enjoyment, entertainment to a large population of Kenyans who are fans of one of the greatest sporting events in Kenya. The forum therefore demonstrates that Kenya is a peaceful and friendly nation. Up first were Alex Horsey and Frankie Tao in the Mitsubishi Evo 10, showing little concern at having been drawn to run first on the road. The competitive distance was 186 kilometers split into six sections. Stages 1 and 2 were tackled once and sections 3 and 4 twice, with the meat of the rally being the 58 kilometer stage between Konobaridi and Kisaju. The average speed on the two opening stages was well in excess of 150 kph with no room for error. A true test for both the crews and the cars. Mac Brow into Mac Bright, 100. The route was on open public roads, and although they were closed, Alex Horst and Frank Tao, being the route openers, were more cautious than normal. By the end of stage two, they dropped back by two minutes, which placed them in sixth. I'm not as committed as I'd like to be. Every time you go over brow, you're not quite sure what's going to be there. It's quite worrying, but, but then again, you, you keep going. The crew catching everyone by surprise were Hardy Bressi and Ravi Sonny, who were quickest through stage one by nine seconds. On stage two, they carefully negotiated the spot where they had rolled before, but elsewhere drove at an unrelenting pace. By the midpoint, they were still out in front, but it became academic when they got caught in a rut and rolled again. We were going pretty quickly. We took uh, everything as fast as we could. And um, after the stage, we were totally gung-ho and confident. Went into the second stage in the same spirit, and we got caught out. What to do? Carl Tundo and Tim Jessup took over the lead. They were on peak form, flowing through the stages, leading the road with precision against meticulously prepared recce notes. They were second fastest through stage one, 
and the clear winners on stage two, opening up a gap of 52 seconds. In second were Baldev Chaga and Raju Semi. This was their fourth outing in the N14, and if it stayed reliable, this was the perfect rally on which to prove its mettle. Ian Duncan and Amos Slutch in the National Oil Evo 9 had the opportunity to secure the championship title on this event, and to do so, only needed to finish higher than seventh. This was their priority, and although they weren't driving at 100%, were still at the sharp end of the rally in third. Achieving a good time on the quick stages was not just about the ability of the drivers, but more importantly, how fast the car themselves were. For instance, if Alistair Kavanagh and Gavin Lawrence had been in their EVO 9, they probably would have been winning. But in the Escort, they were only in 14th, five minutes behind. Everything's a bit slower in this, obviously, quite a lot slower, but... Um, it's a lot harder on your on your arms and wrists because of the lack of power steering. But having said that, they seem to be quite tough little cars. You know, we've hit quite a few holes and bumps and things that weren't expected, and uh, 